So what is high self-control all about? There are three basic components of it that can be analyzed. The first is what we call standards. Standards are ideas of how you should be. They are goals, moral principles, ideals, norms, other people's expectations. If your uh, standards are unrealistic or you have conflicting goals, uh, you don't know what you want, well, self-control has trouble there. Second component of self-control is monitoring, keeping track of the behavior. Very hard to regulate something if you cannot keep track of it. When people cease to keep track of their behavior, uh, and this possibly could be due to emotional upset or simply because they don't know what's happening, as another example, alcohol intoxication reduces your awareness of yourself. And as we know, people do all manner of stupid things when they drink alcohol because they're not really reflecting uh, on how this will reflect on them and how it will look in the morning. Alcohol stops people from keeping track of their behavior in relation to their goals and values. And that's one reason it produces uh, poor self-control. The third component is the capacity to change. Uh, willpower is the, the popular term for it. Uh, if people expend all their uh, willpower or uh, self-control breaks down. Any of these three components can go wrong and can undermine your ability to control yourself effectively.